it's not a, a GoPro 4 or anything so I can't actually see what I'm filming right now but at some point I'm going to set it up so I can stream and you'll be able to watch all of this live we can talk about it I'll put away all these extra keys that are unnecessary at this moment the thing about the ducky keys and that yeah everyone likes them sure and it is that they are sort of double dipped where they uh, do the outside of the cap the blue in a solid blue plastic and then they pour in this uh, other plastic which fills out the rest of the key I mean it is nice but it's not translucent and if it's not translucent uh, then what's the point of having an RGB keyboard if the light doesn't come through and uh, therefore that led me onto the search to buy or find I've bought at least I think I've bought a full orange set of keycaps a full white set of keycaps a full set of uh, light blue keycaps and a set of rainbow keycaps the rainbow ones I'm really looking forward to putting on this keyboard but until they arrive you know they're coming from China so it might be a while I can just swap them when they come here's my translucent set as you can see there's a whole numpad here that I don't need and that's okay because uh, I can just swap out basically everything else that we see here um, not everything I'll leave all the black things where the black things are and I'm going to just swap out the keys that you type on for that you're going to need your ducky keycap remover and I find because my memory is not awesome <laughs> sure everybody knows QWERTY and I don't know what happens after that ASD whatever I don't remember so I just do it cap for cap and then I can't really go wrong alright so I'm going to open up this white cap set hopefully without spilling them <sighs> All right, I tried to be careful. That didn't work. <sighs> Keys all over the floor. <sighs> it's a good thing I'm only swapping out the letters. No, I'll leave the F keys. Alright, I'll just get started with QWERTY. These are Cherry MX Browns. They should fit perfectly. They should. Oh, they stand a little higher. I don't know if they're a little different. These are proper cherry switches. Actually, I like that better. I think it looks even a little bit bigger, slightly, than these. Hmm. Feels good. The letters are fatter. I really do appreciate that. These big fat letters are going to let a lot of light through, which is going to be awesome. Now the rest of this process might be pretty boring, so I'll do the rest in fast forward.
my favourite colour is green, so green under there. Uh, it's no, by no means this is not a, a finished thing, this is just the, comp the, the keyboard I'm using now for the next few days or, or weeks until I get my new rainbow keycaps at least. I'm going to try this because I have a very good feeling that by highlighting my keys that I actually type on, uh, my typing gets better and then I don't get distracted by anything else around it that isn't letters or a space bar or enter. So I'm very happy with this. This is the D... I forget which model this is, but it's actually got a couple extra keys. Um, Maybe it's the SF. Uh, I don't know, but anyway, it's it doesn't have the keypads. It does have arrows. Um, I'm going to pimp this out, fix it up, uh, do a bunch of things to it, and then I'm probably going to flip this online. Uh, but at the moment, I really, really like it just the way it is. Look how much fatter these keycaps show the letters compared to the original keycaps. The original keycaps are very low key. Uh, the new keycaps are really like in your old face. And I like that very much. So whatever you want to highlight, you could use new keycaps and have fatter letters. You know, maybe just for your arrows or whatever. Or whatever you want to do. But I really like how easy it is to see in the dark. And uh, I guess we don't really need a demo of this. Do we? Alright, well, let's watch it strobe. See you go through the letters. Uh, it's so well illuminated. I'm very, very happy with it. And I'm going to use this for another week or so. I've got all these extra keycaps now. I might try putting them onto that other keyboard and uh, see how that looks with some white keycaps that are not the letters. So maybe put the uh, function keys in white or something. Uh, like I said, I'm going to get orange keycaps. Um, this kind of sky blue keycaps and the rainbow keycaps which I'm going to deck this out when that finally comes and I've ordered a, a switch opener and a switch removal tool so I'm going to make some videos about how I go through the process I haven't done it before but it's definitely worth doing so if you want to turn your your gaming keyboard from bland to grand this is a very easy way to do it. I bought a couple of these keycaps uh, on eBay. The original keycaps, not a big fan because the light doesn't come through on the colored ones that you get with the keyboard. It's nice to get some free colored keycaps, but if no light comes through, that kind of sucks. I could replace that with a white enter. I kind of prefer the... whoops. Yeah, I kind of prefer the orange one just because it's more of a function and then just the keys, uh, the white keys are all of the letters I also love my year of the rat uh, space bar but I might remove that, put a different thing on there and uh, I might even sell that space bar separately because it's a hot item on eBay um, we'll see but I really love this space bar the other one is a uh, year of the rat oh no, yes, year of the rat no, year of the pig uh, Year of the Pig uh, is the other keyboard I've got that I'm going to pimp out and uh, put online. So stay tuned. My name's John Green. It's supposed to be a music channel, but really it's a home studio channel, and I talk about things inside the studio. And this is one of the things that I bought with my tax refund from Austria. I was very, very lucky to get a tax refund, and uh, I live in Ireland now, and with that money... I went out and bought a couple of keyboards, a broken one, uh, a used one, this one, which is brand new, 2020, and uh, I think I really like keyboards now. I'll do a couple more videos of keyboards, but I have other videos to do about how I'm going to try to set up my little studio here. I know you can't really see what's going on. No, you can't. But uh, I'm going to try to bring this together into something worth watching. Alright, so thanks for watching anyway. Subscribe if you want to see the next videos. Subscribe if you want to see what happens next. Thanks for tuning in. Again, my name is John Green. Oh, and the, that keyboard works. Alright, thanks a lot.